Your followers are keeping you poor. I think good. I think good. I feel good. I feel good. I live good. I live good. I live good. My mind is powerful. My mind is powerful. My mind is powerful. I feel so good. My mind is powerful. I know. This conversation is going to be a little jarring. And it's jarring simply because of I'm tired of this narrative that you have to give away all of your best stuff for free in hopes of one day, magically, magically, all of a sudden, the people that you've been giving away stuff to for free are going to buy from you. This is keeping a lot of content creators poor. And the reason why I was keeping content creators poor is simply because you are a fool if you think that is going to be your strategy. Let me tell you a very, very, very close story. Close because it happened to me, okay? When I first started my podcast, started it, started it um, 2010, I think, 2010. And at this time, I still had money issues. I was like, money issues meaning I still had negative beliefs about the subject of money. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to charge anybody for this content. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to give away some of my best stuff. Even if people want to talk to me, I even did free coaching, okay? And, I, and, and in the back of my mind, you know, I would offer free coaching. I would say, hey, if you need some coaching, you know, hit me up. I'll jump on the phone with you. I'll spend hours. I did that for years. You know how many people, let me, first and foremost, I told myself that, hey, man, people will appreciate what I do so much that they will eventually donate money to me. Man, I my podcast was downloaded over 300,000 times. You know how many people donated to me? One person out of all those years. One person. Fortunately, I was doing other things on the side, but if I was only relying on that, my audience, even though they told me they appreciated what I brought to the table, was watch it would watch me starve. They would watch me starve. Your audience is watching you starve. And it, and this is especially true in the spiritual community. In the spiritual community, people that teach meditation and all of this stuff, right? Giving away all of your time, you're putting all of this time and energy into your content and you're gaining so many followers. Nobody is shopping with you because you are afraid to let your audience know that you even have something for sale. Whoa. You hope that magically they come across your website on Google or that magically one day after you've given so much value in a video, they're like, you know what? I'm going to go check out the link in his bio. The fact of the matter is you need to tell people about where they can go if they want more of what you have to offer, whether it's products, whether it's services, whether it's coaching or ebooks, tell people where to go to buy the freaking product or service. Tell them where to go, please. Tell them where to go. Because if you don't, your audience is watching you starve. You're out here acting abundant. And meanwhile, you're struggling. I just spit. You're struggling. The reason why you're struggling is because you believe that you should just give away all of your stuff. And I'm not even going to call any names, but there are some people out there that have convinced you to just give away all your shit, man. And it is keeping you poor. The reason why the people that are saying that is saying that is because they have other streams of income. They are doing other things on the side. This that they're doing, this content creation is a toy for them. Yeah, they can give it all away because it's a toy for them. They already have other streams of income. You who don't have any streams of income need to use this as a vehicle. Yes, to provide value to people, but a uh, 
make some damn money because I don't care how spiritual you are. It doesn't matter how much you meditate, visualize things of that nature. The chances of someone just waking up one day and feeling good about life and deciding to donate some money to you are very slim to none. And even if it is a great chance, would you only want to rely on that way to get money? And then there's another narrative with spiritual people who say, Hey man, you know, money isn't that important. Money isn't that important. Money, I don't, I don't like money. I'm escaping the matrix of the money. Da, 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 da. But yet they want to, Oh, I want to raise the vibration. I want to raise the vibration of other people. You can't even raise the vibration of your own self monetarily. So how can you expect to raise the vibration of other people? You know what really raises the vibration of other people? Having some money so that you can solve a lot of the issues that they have. Because fortunately, we live in a community, we live in a society where money can solve a tremendous amount of problems. And no, I didn't say a lot of all of the problems. I said a tremendous amount of problems. A lot of the problems that average people are having is related to lack of money. And so by you being a poor spiritual person, you're not solving anything. You're not serving anyone like that. I want to see my spiritual guru living the life of their dreams. Don't tell me I can manifest. Don't tell me you're going to raise my vibration if you're staying under a freaking bridge. Okay. And so I just want you to know as a spiritual person, you have to figure out how in the hell are you going to get some money? Raising your vibration is one thing, but you need to have products and services that people value enough that they're eager to invest the money with you. Now here's where your logic is foolish. You have placed money on a pedestal, even though you say to yourself that you don't value money that much. In reality, you do. You value money so much that you've caused yourself to believe that you don't value it, but you do value it. The reason why you do value it is because in times of discomfort,